Hello, everyone. So my bad, I was just finishing dinner. Okay, bring on your questions. Uh, Catherine's question, SDS, oops, sorry, skipped Gwendolyn's question. SDS was the student group. So it was a student group uh, started at U of M. So at the, after the civil rights movement got started, there was a lot of um, uh, protests at elite colleges. So SDS started at U of M, there's the free speech movement at Cal Berkeley. Um, so essentially they take the ideas of the civil rights movement, not obviously not segregation, but uh, the idea of oppression. And then uh, they bring it back to their own colleges. Uh, let's see. The Pentagon Papers, Gwendolyn's question. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Pentagon Papers were uh, the se the secret papers that um, that talked about uh, what we were actually doing in the war, so, and it essentially revealed the presidents were lying. Um, so Daniel Ellsberg, who worked for the Pentagon, I think he actually worked for the Rand Corporation, who worked for the Pentagon, um, Xeroxed all these papers and gave the New York Times, the US government sued New York Times saying you can't publish those. New York Times said, yes, we can. And the Supreme Court sided with the New York Times. So it's a big, actually, uh, First Amendment freedom of press case. Uh, Brinkley doesn't seem to focus on that, but that, that's what that is. Okay, Megan's question, can you explain the new frontier? That was Kennedy's idea about uh, to build hope and optimism in the people, but just like my class should know, Kennedy was just attractive, and that's about it. Um, Grace's question to Robert Kennedy. Robert Kennedy, actually, he ended up running in 68 to challenge uh, LBJ as well. Well, And so once Eugene McCarthy had some success, LBJ jumped into the, or I'm sorry, once Eugene McCarthy had some success, uh, Robert Kennedy jumped in. Um, and he was doing really well. And then after the California primary in 1968, he got assassinated. So again, that's part of what makes 1968 such a terrible year. Uh, Ridwana's question, the Viet Minh versus the Viet Cong. Viet Minh is forces from the North. Viet Cong are communists that are in the South. Uh, Ben's question, was the Nixon doctrine part of the SALT Treaty? Not really. I think it was just a general, the, the, any doctrine is just kind of like the approach that we take. So. I don't think it was part of the SALT Treaty, per se. A rules question, what was the Watch Rebellion for? The frustration of Blacks. So even though they'd gotten a lot with uh, the Civil Rights Act and the Voting Rights Act, it just, you know, it didn't change their everyday lives. And so there was a police arrest in Watts, the, uh, the rioting, rioting started. So the, the, right, the race riots of the 60s, or more blacks against authorities as opposed to the race riots in 1919 and 1943 that's more blacks versus whites. Okay, Abdul's question. Uh, we're getting a lot of new players today. Uh, Abdul's question, what was the black power movement? So that is after, the way to think about it, uh, I've explained in my class is 64, 60, 64 Civil Rights Act, 65 Voting Rights Act is kind of the high point of the civil rights movement. So that's everything they worked for. Once they got it, it's again, it didn't change the everyday uh, experience of African-Americans. And so the race riots are part of that. Black power is part of that. So what does black power mean? It means kind of reaching back to your roots. I think, you know, Marcus Garvey, the black prince back in the 1920s. So they grow out their hair, they grow afros, uh, they adopt black names, they adopt black clothing. And so that's kind of the black power movement. Uh, Brinkley has a weird, weird name for it. But uh, essentially, that's what the Black Power movement is. Okay, I know George Wallace was third party candidate. How was he Dem a Democrat? Because the Southern, if you remember, all the way back to the Civil War, uh, politicians in the South are Democrats, and those are Southern Democrats, and they're also segregationists. So, the Civil Rights Movement actually starts a conversion from Southerner, Southern politicians being Democrats to Republicans. They begin switching over, and here we are in 2019, they're fully switched over. I don't think they're with the exception of the senator from Alabama who kind of got lucky in his election. 
there's not a single Democratic uh, national legislator. They're all Republicans because the switch started back in civil rights movement. And Mole's question, how did JFK use flexible response? Um, I don't think it showed up anywhere per se. I mean, well, I'm not in like hot flashpoints. And so flexible response, if you remember, it's like Green Berets. It's using foreign aid. It's using Peace Corps. So it's not always about military and it's not always about using nuclear weapons. Okay, Tiffany's question, in the Cuban Missile Crisis, did the U.S. have to take down their missiles in Turkey? Yes, they did, but not right away. I think they waited six months. Okay, Houston's question, when did RF, when RFK died, did the schism in the Democratic Party end? No way, Kirsten. Um, so if you remember, the 68 convention is coming up, and that's where the the chaos happens in Chicago. So the all the anti-war, pro anti-war protesters descend on Chicago. Cops are there. They're going to be beating them up, and it's all shown on TV, and it's chaos actually inside, too. So um, part of what made it easier for Nixon to win in 68 because the Democrats were a hot mess. In my class, if you remember, that's the Allen Ginsberg story, 68 convention. Lisa's question, what was the new frontier? That was JFK's idea for domestic policy, which said we're going to do new things. It's not much. A rules question. Um, uh, I think, I don't know if they're all Warren Court cases, but uh, Miranda versus Arizona, I think whatever is on your terms. Miranda, Gideon, uh, Engel versus Vitale, uh, Bakey versus California, but check your terms. So whatever's on your terms for your, for your game. Tom V's question, what was guns and butter? Guns and butter are the, uh, it's the tension between spending on great society programs. So that's the butter part and spending on the Vietnam war. That's the guns part. Uh, LBJ tried to have guns and butter, but you can't because that caused a lot of spending and a lot of money. Oh, GM's question. What was the Gulf of Tonkin resolution? You guys are killing me. Um, Gulf of Tonkin is how we got into the war or how we start sending troops. So before we're just sending advisors, we're not really sending troops. Our rationale for sending troops is uh, that we were attacked in the Gulf of Tonkin. One of their little patrol boats showed up. Um, one of their little patrol boats uh, attacked us, and we use that as justification for going to war. Okay, Chris's question, can you go over the Tet Offensive? The Tet Offensive is, uh, <clears throat> Tet Offensive is, where did that go? Tet Offensive is the uprising in the south by the Viet Cong. They attacked 10 cities simultaneously, including Saigon, and have temporary control of Saigon. We end up turning them back, but it, while it's a military defeat for the U.S., it's a psychological and political defeat for the U.S. as well. Okay, that's after Tet. LBJ decides not to run again. Okay, even though we we beat them back, um, it, it seems like you know the American public expected us to be winning, and here we are, um, you know, suffering a, a major setback, major setback during Tet. Uh, lastly, the B Kong were also actually took a they actually took a lot of losses uh, during the Tet Offensive, so they needed more help from the North after that. Mm. Okay, Mole's question, who is George Wallace? George Wallace, um, remember, he was the governor of Alabama, major segregationist. So he was against the Selma March. He, he was against the student registering for the enrolling in the University of Alabama. In 68, he ran for president again. Uh, he ran as a, as a candidate for the American Independent Party. Um, he was the guy that started the law and order stuff. So he's going to return to law and order, essentially, a anti civil rights, anti Vietnam. Anti hippies, anti Vietnam War protests, and Nixon runs to the right of him. He has the same policy, except for Nixon's not known as a segregationist. George Wallace is a segregationist. Then there's assassination attempt on his life, and then he's paralyzed. So that's the end of George Wallace. Okay. Good. On Mole's question, who were the weathermen? The weathermen were the violent faction of the SDS. Okay. So I don't know. That's that. Okay. Um, assume this is Mina. After the Paris Accords and U.S. leave, can you explain why the Vietnamese kept fighting? What we did, we turned the war the war over to South Vietnam, so they kept fighting. Except for now, without our help, like they're essentially done. And so the Saigon falls pretty quickly. 
Um, and that's us. So we actually leave the Vietnam War before Vietnam falls. We turn it over and we walk out and we say, hey, we did our part, you know, peace, um, peace with honor. And we do our part in the South Falls. And uh, even though they asked President Ford and President Ford asked Congress, Congress at that point is unwilling to help. Okay, Andrew's question, the effect of RFK assassination on the Dems. Um, didn't really have any, I don't know if it had a direct effect. It just made 68 a really sad year. Um, he, well, I guess, no, nah, I take that back. Maybe Hubert Humphrey, the eventual candidate, wouldn't have gotten it if, R, if RFK was still alive. But I don't know if Brinkley talks about that. I haven't heard m many historians like point to that as a major turning point. Okay, uh, to Mima, sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. Can someone explain that? I don't know why you guys are so fascinated with Robert Kennedy. Um, Robert Kennedy ran for, he was attorney general under JFK and ran for president or ran for the Democratic nomination in 68 and was assassinated. You guys ought to just answer each other's question. You're pretty good. Okay, let's see here. Uh, Ilya's question, can you explain the significance of AIM? It's just, it's one of the rights movements that happens after the civil rights movement. So other groups look at what's happening with, uh, with African-Americans. It's like, hey, we're oppressed too, Native Americans being one of those groups. And the, the one of the groups that uh, pushes that is the American Indian movement, AIM. And if you remember, they took over Alcatraz, they took uh, occupied wounded knee to kind of bring attention to their grievances. Gerson's question, I don't, know if there are specific names of environmental groups. I mean, there's ACTS, Clean Water Act, Clean Air Act, and there's EPA and Earth Day and Rachel Carson. I don't know if there's, well, and then Sierra Club? I don't know. You guys, anything, as always, anything on terms is fair game. So, nice job, Hafsa. Hope you're enjoying Kabuki. Um, I'm sure your parents are enjoying taking you out to dinner and having you watch an A-Push review. <laughs> Abdul's question, why did the ERA fail? Because there was actually, it was led, part of the opposition to the ERA was led by a woman, Phyllis Shafley, Shafley, who was actually a working mom herself, working lawyer. She made the argument that if the ERA passed, then women wouldn't be special anymore, right? Mother's Day wouldn't be special. Uh, women would have to fight on the front lines. There'd be co-ed bathrooms. Everything would be really gross. And so women occupy a special status in our country, and that would disappear if um, there's, if the ERA passed. Oh, somebody explained the Pentagon Papers for Ann Mole. Thank you, Brendan. Okay, Kisei's question. Spiro Agnew was taking bribes. Started when he was in Maryland and continued on into his vice presidency. Uh, Anella's question, I guess Agnew's significance is that he resigned and Ford gets to become president. I mean, it just it's bad in the midst of everything Richard Nixon's going through, and here, you know, certainly with your vice president being corrupt, that doesn't help. Um, but then Ford eventually becomes president. Gwen Lynn, good answer, but don't forget about Phil Shapley. Uh, okay, GM's question. The 68 convention was chaotic. Again, police are beating up anti-war protesters. Hubert Humphrey, who's LBJ's vice president, gets the nomination, but there's a lot of people that oppose him because he's going to continue the Vietnam policy. So all those anti-war protesters descend on Chicago, and the Democrats are in turmoil. Result, uh, QSA's answer, make sure it resulted in Agnew's resignation, not Nixon's resignation, though. Okay, Alicia, I have no idea what your question. Cesar Chavez, thank you. Cesar Chavez was the guy that invented dressing that goes on salad. Uh, just kidding. Uh, Chavez was the guy who uh, led the United Farm Workers, wanted higher wages for farmers and learning the lessons of the civil rights movement. They also got, uh, they got people to support that by boycotting grapes. So people bu stopped buying grapes, stopped buying wine. That put more pressure on the... Uh, the owners and they got what they wanted. Hey, Chidema, I don't, that's too broad of a question about the common culture. I don't know what you're asking there. Uh, Connor's question. 
Connor's question about the freedom rides. Yes, and that's the whole point. They were trying to they were trying to make JFK enforce it because if um, they couldn't ride across state lines on integrated buses, then it'd be up to the federal government to enforce because that's a federal law. It's actually a Supreme Court case. Um, and that's why they did it. So they, they wanted to put pressure on JFK. Moles question, Nixon's 90 day price and wage freeze have any effect on the economy? No, stagflation was still a doozy. Thank you, Gwendolyn, for the answer. Brendan Farhart, well, RFK was, he's part of that attractive family, though. Um, yeah, you guys really could answer each other's question, and I could just go back to my dinner. Oh, a rules question. The difference between SDS and SNCC. SDS is like college students. SNCC are... Uh, young black activists. So there's two groups, I taught my class, there's two young uh, African-American groups, SNCC and CORE, okay, that are active. So CORE is the one that leads the Freedom Riders. SNCC is the one that does the lunch counter sit-ins. Okay, there's two older groups, uh, NAACP, remember from W.E.B. Du Bois, and uh, SCLC, which is Martin Luther King's group. Amelia, the interstate buses were integrated. They were trying to make Kennedy enforce it, though. <clears throat> oh, I don't wear green. I don't like Michigan State. Uh, okay, Chris, uh, you've gotten weirdly off track online here. Uh, Civil Rights Act of 1964, that's the one that prohibits di discrimination in public places. You can't discriminate on the basis of race, sex, Gender, national origin. That is one of the high points of the civil rights movement. Uh, Kirsten's question about the weathermen. Yeah, I guess you could technically say that. They're part of the new left. Ancha didn't actually see the game, so. Uh, let's see. Joel, I think you've asked and answered your own question. This is question. What was the significance of the feminine mystique? It kicked off the uh, women's feminism, second wave feminism here. So she talked about the emptiness of women's lives. So getting married, having kids, and living in the suburbs is not um not everything to to living and so when they asked these women well like why are you so sad and lethargic and they couldn't explain it um betty for dan was able to describe it in the feminine mystique grace's question stonewall riot that kicked off the gay rights movement in new york stonewall is a uh, bar a gay bar in new york greenwich village Police used to just harass the patrons there, and one day they just start throwing stuff at the police and it turns into a riot. <clears throat> okay, uh, somebody explain for us, uh, Cesar Chavez, we've already covered that. And Mole's question, stagflation. Stagflation is uh, usually when, in, when the economy is good, prices go up. So a good economy, high inflation go together. Um, and bad economy, low inflation or deflation usually go together. What was weird about stagflation, you have a bad economy, but also inflation, which doesn't usually happen. So that's what made it doubly tricky. You're asking, how did that happen? Well, part of that is the spending on the Great Society and Vietnam War drove up prices. And then the OPEC, OPEC oil embargo in 73 also helped drive down the economy. So inflation and stagflation are the, the big economic problem during the 1970s. Navleen's question, SCLC and SNCC is not the same thing. SNCC is the young African-American group. SCLC is the older one led by Martin Luther King. SCLC helped lead the, the Montgomery bus boycott. SNCC did the lunch counter sit-ins. Abdul's question, nobody died in the Saturday Night Massacre. Uh, independent prosecutor gets fired. Top two guys at justice quit. That's why it's a quote-unquote massacre. Okay, let me know if that's not enough for you guys because I had two questions in a row. 
Angie Yu's question, what was the free speech movement that was happening in Cal Berkeley? So again, when these civil rights protesters come back to their colleges, they're not uh, so hip to, uh, no pun intended, they're not so hip just to kind of follow the rules as usual. So I think it was an anti-war protest going on or a petition going around. Please stop them. And then they, it turned into a free speech movement. Who published the Pentagon Papers uh, as a rule? New York Times published them, but so did a bunch of other papers. There, if any of you guys have seen The Post, um, they had a, it's a good movie about the Washington Post uh, and their editor, Kathleen Graham, debating whether to publish the Pentagon Papers. Because if you publish them and you get sued, then that would be the, essentially the end of your paper. Kirsten's question, no, but we are the biggest supporters and actually continue to be a big supporter of Israel in the Middle East. So that's enough. Rudwana's question, Saturday Night Massacre. So um, the independent prosecutor, the uh, investigator, Archibald Cox, he, they find out that there's secret tapes in the uh, from the White House desk. And then once they know there's secret tapes, like, hey, let's, let us have the tapes so we can see what really happened. And Nixon says no. I think Archibald Cox asks again. Nixon says no. And now he says you're fired. And the other two top guys in Justice Department um, know that's probably wrong. And they, they resign in protest. And that becomes a Saturday Night Massacre. And, and all it's for naught because the new independent prosecutor is uh, just asked for the tapes also. So Leon Jaworski. Okay, hopefully that was helpful. Amelia's question, what was the Silent Spring? That was the... The book, uh, Rachel Carson's book, um, Silent Spring, it kind of kicked off the environmental movement. It's a silent spring because DDT, the pesticide, has killed uh, animals. It's killed, uh, well, it's, it was meant to kill the insects. It did that, it killed the animals, got into our drinking water, got into our bodies. So why is it a silent spring, somebody? Because all the birds are dead. Uh, Asmita, yes, for your question on free speech movement. It's just... It's an example of the, the civil rights movement and the kind of, I don't know if you want to call it anti-authoritarian, that's probably too far, um, spreads to colleges, SDS, U of M, free speech movement, Cal Berkeley, and other places. Okay. Port Huron statements. Uh, Ilya's question, or Elia, sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. A Port Huron statement was just a statement by SDS. Okay. SDS uh, commenting on our society and the threat of nuclear weapons and things like that. Okay, you guys are violating Mr. Ignati's principle of you can't ask Google Googleable questions. Okay. Grace's question, Freedom Summer. Freedom Summer was the attempt by uh, black and white college students to go down to rural Mississippi and register voters. So I can't remember the exact numbers. Mississippi was like 40% African American and like 2% were registered to vote. Um, because of white intimidation at the uh, polling places and at the registrar's office. And so they're going to go down there and register people to vote. And then three of them end up uh, killed. Goodman, Cheney, and Schwerner, two of them white, one of them black. Um, couldn't find their bodies for the longest time. LBJ sends the FBI. They find out that uh, like the local deputy sheriff and businessmen who were members of the KKK did it. Uh, and well, I think he's in there like three years. Uh, it's a good job, birds die. Thank you. Now, when do we want it? Significance of now is that it's a national organization of women. So part of that second wave feminism, remember, it starts off protesting about equality in the workplace, but then spreads into the popular culture in terms of the language we use and, and clothes we wear. Okay, it looks to be a lag in here somewhere. So the last question I have is Ansh's question. Oh, okay, not a lag. Thank you, Lily. Uh, GM's question. EPA, and it reg helps regulate the environment. So, like, they're the people that were responsible for finding lead in the Flint water, although they missed it the first time around. Um, but they uh, they are supposed to prosecute people that dump chemicals in our rivers and things like that. Uh, Mithra's question, yes, Nixon resigned before he got impeached. 
For Rwanda's question, I don't know what you mean by like Cambodia bombings. Like, did we bomb them or why did we bomb them? Okay, someone from my class, to answer Abdul's question, what is the uh, Engel versus Vitali case and how can you remember that? Good, Ben, tell them how we remember Engel versus Vitali is about prayer in public school, ban prayer in public schools. Uh, meanwhile, Ridwana's question, why did we bomb Cambodia? Because the North was getting supplies and troops down to the South via Cambodia. So we have the border blocked off, but um, they can still go through Cambodia. And then we started bombing Cambodia. This is question, yes, Gerald Ford was already vice president. That's how he became president. Um, let's see. Caden's question, what ideas, sources did the new left draw from? Drew from the civil rights movement? Honestly, I don't remember that. That's like a Brinkley specific question. Um, da, 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 I've got lost here. Uh, great society programs include, ready, Medicare, Medicaid, HUD, that's Housing and Urban Development, the uh, Community Action Plan, included food stamps, um, it included the Elementary and Secondary Education Act, included Head Start, which is free, free preschool. Okay. Uh, time to these questions, significance of Bakey versus Board of Regents. Bakey, that was the affirmative action case, okay? So Bakey was a white man applied to the... Um, medical school at University of California, they were holding 16 spots for minority candidates. <clears throat> Bakey said that's unfair. The Supreme Court split the difference. They said, yes, you can consider race. No, you can't hold it. You can't put any number to it. So because they were holding 16 spots for it, that made it unconstitutional. Yes. So that's how we remember Engel versus Vitale. Angle sounds like angels, which makes you think of prayer, which makes it unconstitutional in schools. Um, Abdul's question, hold on. JJ's question, what did Cambodia do about the bombing? Well, nothing, because we kind of helped overthrow the, well, we didn't overthrow. We encouraged the overthrow of the government, and the new government didn't seem to mind that we invaded their country to root out the North Vietnamese. <laughs> Community action plan, it just involved, I think it just involved uh, like, uh, community members in planning their own, um, planning their own communities, as strange as that sounds, as opposed to being told from like the state or from the government. Okay. So once you get down in the weeds with that stuff, it's actually kind of important. Okay. Um, let's see, now please question, what do we need to know about Malcolm X? Malcolm, Nothing I think so much about his assassination, just that Malcolm X was a black militant that was a counterpart to MLK. So again, part of what makes MLK more acceptable is that, uh, you know, the the alternative is is Malcolm X and the Nation of Islam that's saying whites are the devil, and if somebody hits you, you should hit them back. That sounds kind of scary. So MLK and nonviolence and turn the other cheek sounds a lot better. <laughs> Uh, Della, yeah, I, I don't know if I'd put it quite that way, but the black power, it shifts to black power. So that they, they want to determine their own, um, they want to determine their own futures and destiny. Uh, can't do it if there's always white people in the group because that kind of, um, they always take the positions of power. It's kind of the same argument for like why women's, women historically, women's colleges are historically black colleges. Uh, as Mina, no, I think it's not, it's not the Nixon court, it's the Burger court. So the Warren, the Warren court is liberal, and so a lot of those cases are liberal, um, but actually when the Burger court comes around, it's not that much better. You know, he'd hoped that it would, would be more conservative, but it really wasn't. And Mole's question, the March on Washington, they're trying to convince JFK, they're literally sitting in D.C. talking in his direction, 
trying to convince him to support the Civil Rights Act. There's no Civil Rights Act yet when they have the March on Washington. Actually, it's after JFK gets assassinated, LBJ presses uh, Congress to pass it in honor of JFK. And because everybody loved him and he was attractive, they get it passed. Okay, I'm lost here in the chat. Um, whoa, no, Kirsten, Bay of Pigs and the Cuban Missile Crisis uh, are two separate events. Now, Cuba was already towards Russia. The moment that Castro took over, he, they're a communist. So uh, I think those two things are pretty separate. Okay, uh, there's a lag or no questions right now. No, and well, the fact though is uh, is racism by practice. So there's no law that that says that. And then the example I use in my class is like cafeteria. So in the cafeteria, you find a lot of groups sit with each other. African Americans sit with other African Americans. Asians sit with other Asians. Um, and that's not a rule, but that's just kind of by practice. So de facto is by practice, de jure is by law. And we came up with a mnemonic device, de jure, think about the jury and the law. The Viet Minh were northern communists. They're, they're communists from the north. Viet Cong were communists that were in the south. Okay, Adele's question, flexible response. So what, what Kennedy wanted to do was not wanted more than just having nuclear weapons or like troops at his disposal. So what else can you do to help kind of spread America's beliefs? Well, you can use the Peace Corps, you can use foreign aid, you can use the Green Beret to assassinate leaders. Um, all that's possible. Okay, somebody answers Kenneth's question on flexible response. Literally, I just answered it. Good, Gordo, tell them the options though. Yes, there are other options, but what, what are they? Yes, Connor came up with the jury. That was clever. No, Nation of Islam, uh, the, other, the leader is Elijah Muhammad. So that's the guy that started it all. Okay, somebody answered Kenneth's question about flexible response though. Uh, Tiffany's question, La Raza. La Raza is just, it's the family. So that becomes kind of the movement that, so they start identifying with one another. That's So instead of saying, hey, I'm Mexican, I'm Guatemalan, I'm you know Honduran, that they have this commonality uh, with language and with culture. Sindhu's question, yes, that's the big cause of it. Gun, trying to have guns and butter, can't have both. <clears throat> Most question, Geneva Conference, when? Abdul's question, yeah, I'm sure they essentially financed it. I don't know if they literally built the wall. Yes, I agree with you, Catherine. Whoever disliked it, don't show your face around here anymore. Okay, Mithra's question, did the OEO overlook the Great Society programs? No, I think it was part of the programs. That's actually one of the things that Nixon got rid of uh, when he came to office. OEO is Office of Economic Opportunity. Um, no, I just helped, I think African-Americans, good job. So nobody answered Kenneth's question yet? Uh, this, I think when they look back historically, uh, there might not have been an actual shot fired at the boat. Uh, there was foggy out and there's a lot of confusion. So, yes. Uh, Sindhu, good job. Uh, Peace Corps, Green Berets, as well as uh, aid. Okay, it's always good when you give aid to people. They tend to like you. Oh, uh, and more to be honest with you, I don't know. I think Vietnam, they were supposed to have elections. It's, you know, the U.S. kind of encouraged the South Vietnamese not to have the election because Ho Chi Minh from the North would have won. 
Abdul, yeah, I think the CIA, CIA is part of that. And we're like, we encourage all of those going back to the last unit. Joel, the Native American Supreme Court cases? I'm not quite understanding your question. Uh, Kenneth, no, they didn't lead to the restriction on nuclear weapons. It just gave us another tool in our toolbox. That's how you should think about it. So instead of having troops or nuclear weapons, you know, Truman wanted the troops and aid, right? Marshall Plan, uh, Truman Doctrine. Eisenhower said massive retaliation. Kennedy wanted like a third option. Let's have other ways of doing it. Somebody answered Mithra's question about the community action plan. <clears throat> I suppose that's a matter of perspective, whether the U.S. were the bad guys or not. Okay, somebody answered Nablin's question about stagflation. Okay, we've already talked about it. You guys and I do that, so if nobody comes up with it, just remind me, and I, I'll be more than happy to answer. It's a good practice for somebody. Uh, Joel, no, we don't need to know those. U.S. versus Wheeler. You guys, check the terms, as always. <clears throat> Um, Anj, no, we're not going to ask whether, which one was more court, Nixon court. <coughs> uh, and most question, yes, about the NLF and the Econ. I think, pretty sure. The uh, stagflation is high inflation and high unemployment. So thank you, Rudwana. Uh, what did LBJ do in the Dominican Republic? Sure, he's sponsored an overthrow, but honestly, I don't remember that one. That's not, I don't think that's a big part of this unit because it's like all Vietnam. Yeah. Any question? Yeah. Uh, and well, it's not, we, we kind of said it would be okay since we we're such a big supporter of South Vietnam. You know, obviously, anybody that would overthrow them, you don't want to piss off the Americans. And so they kind of check with Kennedy, and Kennedy would be like, yeah, that's okay. Uh, DM had become unpopular. Remember, he started repressing the Buddhists. You guys haven't looked up the burning monks in the uh, intersections yet? So they used to, to protest the treatment. They'd go down to Saigon and sit, you know, lotus position in the middle of the intersection, and somebody pour gasoline on them, and they'd light them on fire, and they're just sitting there calmly. Like, gruesome. Uh, JFK's new frontier never actually worked. And I don't think it actually did anything. It brought hope. LBJ's Great Society had all those programs, which reduced poverty. It's expensive, but it reduced poverty. <laughs> this question, what's the significance of stagflation? It ground our economy to a halt, okay, which makes it bad because now more people are unhappy. When more people are unhappy, they're willing to, unwilling to sacrifice. Abdul's question, why did France leave Vietnam? Because they got their butts kicked. They got chased out. That, that was, and if you remember the last chapter, Dien Bien Phu, Vietnam pushed them to this little place, this little area, and they chased them out. They wanted to borrow a, borrow, quote unquote, a uh, nuclear weapon. We uh, Eisenhower wouldn't let them. No, nobody cares about the new frontier. <laughs> LBJ, the great society. Okay. Because in a society as rich as ours, we can eliminate and we should eliminate poverty in our midst. No, Nixon actually started unwinding the great society, if you remember. So he did away with the Office of Equal Opportunity. Um, he desegregated, uh, he stopped the, tried to stop the busing of desegregation. Okay, let's try that again. He tried to stop the use of buses to desegregate schools. Okay. Um, to Nixon's credit, he did have Clean Air, Clean Water Act, EPA, and Watergate. Just kidding about the Watergate. Um, yeah, they, yes. Uh, Mithra's question, uh, detente, um, which is a warming of relations, salt and China are those. Okay, you guys, if I get another New Frontier question, I'm going to dock five points for everybody's test. Stop asking about the New Frontier. Andrew, good. You can tell you've been in Mr. Ignani's room. I'm not sure how many times he made fun of the French during this unit, but I'm sure it wasn't enough. Yeah, and well, the question about Haight Ashbury. Haight Ashbury is, yeah, it's kind of like the epicenter, epicenter of uh, of hippies. So, okay, Gordo, that's five. 
And GM, that's five once I figure out who you are. And Emily, five for you and Abdul. Good job. Good advice, Catherine. Actually, you ignite folks. What I do, I, I tell my kids, I'm just going to remove five points from random spots in your grade so you'll never know where it came from. <laughs> okay, this will be the end of the chat if I get another new frontier question. I'm, is that like the only term you guys don't know and that's why you guys keep asking? Gwendolyn, that would be in like bizarre world. Okay, come on, you guys are literally wasting time here. What else? This is question about the 90 day price and wage freeze. That was uh, that was Nixon's attempt to uh, tame stagflation. So part of stag part of inflation and stagflation also um, how it works. It's psychological. So if you think prices are going to go up tomorrow, then you're going to go out and spend your money today, right? So you don't have to pay the higher price in the future. Nixon thought he could tame the psychological part. Just say hey, we're going to nobody can raise prices, nobody can raise wages for 90 days. After 90 days, we'll have cooler heads, but that didn't work. Oh, good job, Leo. Yes, a lot of people don't get the bizarre reference. <clears throat> Bella's question about Kissinger. No, Kissinger, I mean, Kissinger is a major, he's the driver. Oh, let me say that again. He is an important factor in the foreign policy under Nixon. So uh, Harvard professor, really smart. Uh, Vietnamization, no, he's the one that helps open up China as well and helps uh, relationship with Soviets. <laughs> Gordo, he you, he did the great boycott to get higher wages for the farm workers. He started the United Farm Workers. So he didn't boycott grapes because he didn't like them. <laughs> Uh, Catherine's question. No, it's the co the counterculture. Actually, they start off hippies, right? I mean, you guys read the eight by eleven. It's it's anti authority, changing of norms. You can't trust the old folks because they ruin our our society. They actually then it, it kind of morphs into the anti war protests. So like hippies themselves aren't. They're not really about. They're not really for any. I mean, not for anything in particular. Uh, and actually, there's a group of like so we didn't really talk about it, silly hippies called yippies. They ran a pig for president called Pegasus. And there's a great photo in our old PowerPoint that had Pegasus being arrested. Then they ate him. Uh, and Mole, now, the question about now, now, I mean, they brought attention to the issues surrounding women. So, in terms of language, in terms of culture, and uh, pushing for the ERA, it's still around today. So, I mean, they push for, uh, they're pro choice, obviously, and push for women's reproductive rights, they would call it. Birmingham, uh, Mithra's question, Birmingham March was when JFK was in office. Selma March was actually LBJ. So Birmingham March, uh, nothing, JFK really. Well, he asked for civil rights movement, the Civil Rights Act after that, although it got passed under LBJ. Selma, um, LBJ federalized the National Guard. And they were forced to protect the uh, walkers. Sindhu, that's a great question. Um, because it's it's not really just tax. Because people get pissed if you cut, if you uh, if you increase taxes, right? It's still true today. The only, and then here's a little foreshadowing in the future: how they tamed inflation. You had to raise the interest rates, which caused a lot of pain. It's like getting shots at the doctor, but you're better afterwards. Okay, Akil, I don't know why your font is so small. Uh, Bizarre world is where everything is the opposite. So Bizarro Superman is like the bad Superman. Like the super friends are the bad. They're, they're the uh, criminals. Come on, kids. I can't teach you everything. Um, Napur, I don't understand your question about administrative action. So you got to clarify that. Yeah, Ignati kid, ask, ask Mr. Ignati about Bizarro world. He'll be able to explain it to you. Yippies. Yes, I love the yippies too. 
<laughs> Pegasus 2020. Okay, sorry, I'm lost in the chat. Um, no, Bizarro's a whole world. There's a Bizarro Superman. Okay, <laughs> stop with the Bizarro. Stop with New Frontier. Um, The Milai Masker, Abdul's question. Milai Masker was uh, was a massacre by U.S. troops on this village. They killed uh, elderly folks, uh, women, children, and they wiped out the whole village. And I think that was probably more uh, emblematic or the epitome of the frustration of the Vietnam War. So you can't tell who's the enemy again. Viet Cong are blending in with the soldiers, with the villagers, and they they just kind of snap and they kill the whole village. It's actually an American helicopter gunner that gets them to stop. And so Lieutenant William Kelly uh, is brought up on war crimes charges. I think he spent some prison time, but not much, because I think he gets pardoned too. And that becomes like one of those dividing points of the Vietnam War. Uh, Kent State protest was a response, not the killing. The killing, uh, the killing was, I think, accidental. Somebody thought there was a shot fired and the National Guard fired. But the Kent State protest was a response to the Cambodia bombings, yes. Okay, somebody answered Sindhu's question about the community action plan. Brendan's question about George Wallace. George Wallace was a segregationist. We asked this, we answered this earlier. George Wallace was a segregationist governor from Alabama. He uh, opposed uh, admittance into the University of Alabama. His famous quote is segregation now, segregation tomorrow, segregation forever. He runs in 1968. Um, for president, it was part of the American Independent Party. Okay, he's the one that promotes the law and return to law and order. Anti, he's against the anti-war protesters, against civil rights protesters. Nixon is he essentially takes up the same platform, but because Nixon doesn't have the crazy reputation George Wallace does, Nixon gets more attention. In George Wallace, there's an assassination attempt and he's paralyzed. Thank you, Gwendolyn, for answering the question about the Milai massacre. Okay, Adela, check the chat just above. We just answered that, I think. Yeah, he lost the Democratic Party. He became, he formed his own party, the American Independent Party. Uh, Connor's quite, I think, I don't know if there's a result of the new left, but when you think about the free speech movement in SDS, um, that's kind of the results, I guess, if you want to call that the result of the new left, that's an example of the new left. It's weird. You guys go in bursts of questions. Okay. Can somebody answer Akil's question about the Tet Offensive? I think we've tackled that a couple times. Equal Rights Amendment was supposed to be the capstone of the whole feminist movement. So they passed an amendment that uh, said you can't discriminate on, uh, well, I can't remember the exact word. I was going to say can't discriminate based on sex, but that's actually the Civil Rights Act. Uh, no, actually, the equal, that's the Equal Rights Amendment. It would just be in the Constitution. Um, it nearly passed, but it didn't. And one of the reasons it didn't pass was that uh, the opposition to it, part of it was led by a woman, Phyllis Shafley. That women wouldn't be special anymore if they passed. They'd have to use the same bathrooms as men. Uh, they'd have to fight on the front lines. Mother's Day wouldn't be special anymore. It would ruin the special status that women occupy in our society. Um, and Mole's question, well, you put a bunch in there. No, me lie mask the significance is that we were lied to and frustration of war, that American soldiers could essentially commit this war crime. Easter offensive is attacks by the North. 
Christmas bombings are, um, I don't know, it wasn't so much televised. The Christmas bombings were an attempt to bring the North Vietnam to the bargaining table. So he bombed the hell out of them. Uh, Abdul's question, American Indian Movement is the group that uh, leads the protest for Native American recognition of their grievances. Again, they occupy Wounded Knee, occupy Alcatraz. Good, Gwendolyn. Although it was a rise of the rise of the Viet Cong, so the Viet Cong in the South rose up. Okay, in fact, they were so decimated that uh, the the North had to help them after that, um, and it was a big psychological and political defeat at home. So, good job, Gordo. No vicious question. The Pentagon Papers weren't related to Tet Offensive. Pentagon Papers were this, somebody just thought the war was wrong and that, that the American public was being lied to. So he took it upon his own to Xerox thousands of papers from the Pentagon. Yeah, you guys really should watch the post. Um, it talks about the Pentagon Papers. Aunt, you were right. Okay, I'm lost in what you guys are talking about with Tet. Um, and Mole's question, multipolar world recognized China and that we would support other countries. We just wouldn't necessarily stick our nose into it like Vietnam. The Viet Cong are, is the force in the South. Okay, the Viet Minh are in the North. They, they were already, Mithras, and just to help clarify, the Viet Cong were already in the South. Honestly, if I'm following your debate with Gwendolyn, um, the uprising was in the South. Okay, now that you cl clarify. Okay, so now you're confusing me. Bro, aren't you supposed to go? Yeah. 7.30. No, I'm going to go. What? 7.40. Uh, Kenneth, no, uh, elementary and secondary, secondary education act. They, that was part of the Great Society. It gave money to schools. Part of the complaint, if you remember, during JFK's time, was that like people thought religious schools didn't get them. Um, religious schools didn't get them, but they got them. So they said it was based on student need, not not the schools. So two billion dollars in aid. Um, you're thinking of the Supreme Court case that said you can't pray in school. I think. Um, short answer question. That's an answer. That's a question where you have to write three short parts. <clears throat> okay, honestly, you're going to get kicked off this chat pretty soon. Um, Gordo's question, Viet Cong, yes, the guerrilla warfare people. Akil's question, yes, about Gideon versus Wainwright. Everyone's entitled to a lawyer. Okay, Caden, uh, it died, but it never passed. So it can't die before it passes. It just didn't pass. Um, Nixon Doctrine, U.S. will defend allies, but let them decide the future. Yes, we'll support them, but we're not going to do the fighting, a la Vietnam. Thank you, Megan. Gwendolyn has neglected to uh, correct me, so we'll refer to her as Gwen now. 
Uh, Mithra, yes, they were there, but um, again, everybody was kind of waiting for the elections, and the elections never happened. Yes, Mithra, that's important. Even if you can't afford one, one will be provided for you, but probably not a very good one because it's a public defender and they have too much work. Okay, can everybody just boo Ansh at this point? Oh, got a real question here. Daisy's cause a significant salt one. It's a uh, the first. I think it's the first treaty that limits uh, nuclear weapons with uh, free, it's a freeze on nuclear weapons with Soviet Union. Yeah, you guys take your boom pretty seriously. Um, so DM Mithra's question. DM we, originally DM was pretty good. He cracked down on the corruption, cracked down on the was the mafia in the uh, the South of Vietnam. But then he kind of overstepped and started persecuting Buddhists, and that didn't look good, and they set themselves on fire, and then we're kind of okay if he went away. I like it how some of you guys that haven't commented do contribute your booze. <laughs> uh, this question, Spiro Agnew was convicted for accepting bribes. Daisy's question, did salt decrease Cold War tensions? Yeah, it did. Mole's question, six-day war. I mean, it's. I think it just... It, it reflects the position of Israel in the Middle East and then our support of Israel, which the oil producing countries don't like, and they punish us by having that uh, oil embargo in 73. Okay, somebody explain the Pentagon Papers for Olivia, please. Honestly, I, literally, I have no idea. Are you talking about you're between the north and the south, and then you go back north and you go back south? Okay, somebody. Okay, Gordo Spiro Agnew was the vice president. Not a thing. Okay, now you guys have totally lost me. Gwen's question. Okay, thank you. Okay, Manvir, I have no idea what you're talking about, but it is wildly inappropriate. Um, George McGovern, no, he ran against Nixon. Uh, let's see, Brown versus Board. Yes, Abdul, you can't put a specific number. Okay, vicious question, Bakey versus Board, we've answered it. Can somebody, um, can somebody answer that for him?
Yeah, and so split uh, Gwen's answer: you can consider race, you just can't put a number to it. Okay, can somebody answer size question about Saturday Night Massacre? Uh, Ho Chi Minh was the leader of the North Vietnamese. Again, he's like the George Washington of Vietnam. So that's why they never actually had the election. Um, never had the election because uh, he would have won. I think they said he would have won 80% of the vote. Attorney General and the new number two guy. Okay, myth this question. I don't know which after the US left Vietnam. Uh, yeah, Saigon, uh, Vietnam fell. Uh, South Vietnam fell pretty quickly. Yeah, literally, you guys are, come on, don't waste time. There's some people that actually have questions. Yeah, Denver, I wouldn't say it's Ho Chi Minh's campaign. It fell to the north, so the north came down. Um, to, to, to Vietnam. Uh, and more, the question, I don't think it's so much we, we didn't, uh, it wasn't like a conscious decision to industrialize. The companies are always looking for easier ways to, um, easier ways to, to make a profit. So part of it is sending overseas now that we have the technology and uh, also turning to, uh, now that we have the transportation and then also technology. Okay, hold on. Getting lost here. Uh, I saw a question about Stonewall Riot. Somebody answered the question about Stonewall Riot. Uh, we got a Cambodian invasion question. Some, can somebody answer that too? We've already talked about that. McGovern just ran against Nixon. That was about it. Logan has a question about the Pentagon Papers. Can someone answer that? Yeah, and that's the weird thing about Nixon. Uh, like he didn't need to do any of the shady stuff that he did.
Governor was a Democrat. Uh, Nixon doctrine, it's just, we're going to create a multipolar world. We're going to support our allies, but we're not going to do the fighting. Okay, somebody answer Connor's question about Cambodia bombings. If there's a question of Golf of Tonkin, yes. Logan, I think it was, I want to say CORE that did the uh, Freedom Summer. A lot of college students, black and white. Um... Well, I mean, Vietnam was trying to be, well, it was, it was a country after World War II. They just had to kick the French out. So I, OPEC is the one that led the oil embargo, in particular for our support of, for our support of uh, Israel. They're both, uh, SNCC and CORE are, are both, they're young, um, College age students that are activists. They they take direct action. So SNCC led the lunch counter sit-ins. Core did the freedom rides, the bus freedom rides, and I, I want to say they did the freedom summer too. Gaden's question about Kent State. Kent State protests were in reaction to the bombing of Cambodia, uh, to us and actually invading Cambodia. <clears throat> Um, let's see, hold on. For Freedom Summer, Freedom Summer registered voters in rural Mississippi. Again, there's a staggering disproportion of uh, African Americans that aren't, um, that aren't, um, registered to vote. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. Op did OPEC cause the embargo cause stagflation? It was a major contributor to it. I mean, there's other weaknesses in the economy too. Yeah, you prefer it's a little bit more than just trying to get. In, in particular, I mean, so it's like institutional that why they're not registered to vote. It's just because they didn't want to. It's more than just because they didn't want to. Um, and more good answer to Connor. Uh, it's Logan's good question. What was the whites? I don't know. Desegregationist. The whites' response to black power. Imagine if again you're you're a, a white person that supported the civil rights movement, supported MLK, March on Washington, all these things, and then you have the black power movement show up and kind of like whites are bad, and you know. Nation of Islam and Malcolm X was like whites are the devil, and they're the cause of everything. It, it becomes hard to support when you know you're not the cause. In fact, you were helping out the civil rights movement. Then termination fail. Um, I think you're talking about Native Americans. It just not all the not all Native Americans wanted to go back to tribal land. I wouldn't skip the My Lai Massacre. I don't know if I'd want to skip the 72 election either. Although that's, eh, that's probably not major. White segregationists? Uh, I guess I misunderstood your question.
Yep, that's exactly it, Joel. Let's see, sorry. Um, yeah, I, Gordon, I think I would call it militancy as opposed to violence. Size question about women. Women had jobs, but I think, that, again, the stereotype that they're supposed to be stay at home and just kind of be nothing, be, you know, the mother, be the spouse. Denver's question. Um, I don't know if you mean by I don't the free speech movement. If if you mean spread around the campus or spread to other campuses, I mean it's it, they're coming off the civil rights movement. So the white college students that helped out with civil rights movement, you know, feel like there's a lot of injustice. And it's not that much different from kids today. Uh, Catherine's question: Nixon resigned in uh, I want to say 70, 74, I think. Uh, Caden, yes, SNCC and Core actually uh, kick out their um, kick out their white members. Brendan, I'm not sure what you mean by that. Um, thank you, Akil. Uh, a bonds question? No, he resigned. He was going to get impeached. You know, the writing was on the wall for him. Thank you. GM's question, no, he didn't go to jail because he got pardoned by uh, by Ford, but uh, that's actually the beginning of the next chapter. Connor's question, yeah, it's like the corrupt bargain. People thought he was, they did a deal with Ford. Kelly's question, they're just gonna change society, make it better. You know, it's kind of a generic, like, hippie-ish thing, right? Why can't we all just get along and be friends? Denver, yes, I was. My kid had a game. Were you at, there at soccer? Ethan, Sparrow Agnew was the vice president that resigned because of bribery. Gordo, of course, that's the pattern. You guys haven't picked up on it. No, I feel like you guys are running out of steam now. Somebody help Daisy out. What's the cause or to help cause stagflation? Um, Logan, the first one was Archibald Cox. Second one's Leon Jaworski. Thanks. Yeah, Logan, I mean, that's that's the definition of like stagflation, but um, it is, again, spending on the Vietnam more than the OPEC oil embargo. Evelyn's question, yes, they did.
Logan, well, if you remember the uh, OPEC oil embargo, again, put a dinger in our economy because uh, we we're so dependent on oil. Uh, you're welcome, Brendan. Uh, Denver, yes. Question is, what is creep? Creep is the committee to re-elect the president. And so they're the people that did the dirty tricks and uh, break into offices. I want to say the burglars were from Creep, which poorly uh, poorly named organization or group. Well, I'm not sure if it's in the terms, I'll say yes. Caden, yes, you should know me like maskers. Uh, Logan, we're good. We actually, we just held the peace talks with um, we just held the peace talks with uh, Kim Jong uh, Kim Jong Il, uh, North Korea and Vietnam. I think it opened back up under President Clinton. SDS is just a um, Students for Democratic Society. Example: the New Left. Example of like the civil rights movement and kind of the questioning authority spreading to college campuses. Mister, I think I want to say they are, but it was it's more than just the break in. So they they did other dirty tricks. <clears throat> well, Nixon Denver's question he wasn't at the DNC, but um, what he tried to do is to cover up. So they, the when it comes to political crimes, they said it's never the crime itself; it's always people trying to cover up the crime that makes it criminal. So like perjury, lying under oath, or obstruction of justice is uh, typically what the charges are. So if you follow any of the politics today, that's that's the kind of stuff they talk about too. <clears throat> Ants Roe versus Wade is just a, abortion, a legalization of abortion. Uh, can somebody answer Daisy's question about the weatherman? Somebody answer Logan's question about flexible response, please. <clears throat> yeah, not only that, Nixon uh, Nixon tried to get the CIA to get the FBI to stop investigating. Okay. Spiro Agnew was the vice president under Nixon. He had to resign. Sorry, Daglo. Okay, somebody answer Caden's question about Pentagon Papers, please.
No. Sinet Massacre is an example of, talk about imperial presidency, like imperial overreach. So a presidential overreach that you can, um, that you can go too far. So yeah, I'm essentially he's trying to stop the investigation into himself. I mean, and you guys should follow politics. The question, can like Trump fire the, uh, invest the in, um, special prosecutor that's investigating him? Uh, good question about Nixon minimum wage. I don't I don't know if he increased the minimum wage. He uh, he did get rid of some great society programs. He did stop the busing. He actually one of the things he did do that um, not many people remember. He to get rid of welfare. He said we should just guarantee a a, a a basic income for everybody. Which that idea is coming around again today. So uh, surprisingly, the Democrats were against his plan because it didn't offer enough money. Evan's question, interstate busing. Denver, uh, no, the only thing good for Nixon is probably that he recognized China. Logan, guaranteed income is everybody. So not just people that would qualify in welfare. Everybody's guaranteed a basic income. Detente, Caden, is a loosening of tensions. Connor, if Baker versus Carr is on the terms, then yes. But just in case you don't, it's um, it's the redistrict or the drawing of lines for um, uh, legislative Okay, that was butchered. It's, it's the drawing of lines for representation purposes. Oh, somebody answered Daisy's question about George Wallace. Where did we get all the crazy people today? That's what I want to know. Um, significance of great Bay of Pigs, Grace. It's just it's embarrassing because we're trying to overthrow Cuba, and we chicken out, so it makes us even look worse. Logan, it's not it's not a, a ton of money. So the idea is that now, if you really hated your job, you might quit and try to start your own business because you know that you have some money to fall back on. Yeah, I just figured out how to remove people. So. Well, like five minutes ago. Not a good question. Apparently, high end doesn't need us. Still working on the merch. Okay, you guys have got a few more questions or a few more minutes and that's it. Oh, um, Logan, that's a great question. The old the old left is like FDR and the and the New Deal Democrats. And I think I don't know. That's uh maybe the war and skeptical of US government. I suspect that's what half of you guys came for is just to, for the questions at the end. I watched part of it. I, I was at my kid's soccer game. Um, to noon, how'd you make it back? I thought you got kicked out.
Okay, take your basketball talk somewhere else. Uh, Kelly, no, it's a secret mission to China. Yes, Baylor, this is the beginning of the switch from industrial economy to knowledge economy. Um, Logan, I think doctors and hospitals are actually. Connor already gave you credit. Okay, kids, I think that might be it. We hit on 815. Doctors are against it because they limit how much you get paid for it. Okay. And so you got a bunch of Medicaid parent patients or Medicare Medicare patients that limits how much money you make. No, but you uh, Bella, they, they limit how much you can charge for them. I know Gordo, I'm purposely ignoring you. Um Thanks, everyone. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Good luck. Get some sleep.